Hello, I'm back on the phone. <coughs> yes, yeah, so I've been away for a little while. Yeah, I cut my own hair. Yes, basically the barber didn't have space, so I went and cut my own hair. It's not a bad job, actually. It's, it's all right. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, yeah, this is a, uh, a very, very, very quick one, this one, actually. Like, I've just had, um read some really something really lovely like yeah um tommy robinson sent a letter from jail and i read it this morning because i um it's on a thing like and he's saying thank you to all the letters that he's had from everybody i sent him one i should probably send him another one today actually but i mean one of the things he said in his letter was um he'd be, he he spent the first week and a half without speaking to anybody because he was in solid, he's in solitary light and everything like that. But then they put um, another prisoner next to him in a, in the cell next to him, and he spent all night talking to him. And this prisoner was Julian Assange, no less. Now that would be oh god, would have been a bit fantastic to be a fly on a wall there to hear that conversation. Um, but apparently he had, a, he had a very long conversation with Julian of Assange. Now that is really good because both of them, both of those people are in prison for exactly the same thing. For basically telling the truth. And, you know, the truth, in, the truth is a, subject, a, a subversive act in the society that we live in now. In um, where the society sort of like de determines what is correct and what is not correct. And it's, it's all right to lie as long as you follow the party line. Well, I'm very pleased that they think, and I hope that they, they had a very, very good conversation. But I just thought it was one of the things that made me, made me feel good this morning. And um, the fact that Tommy and Assange <laughs> have had a conversation in prison. And I wonder what, you know, I wonder where that went and wonder what they discussed about. But um, keep your things up, please. Keep sending your things in to Tommy. He said, he's, in his letter, he said that he really, 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 really appreciates all the letters. And all the free Tommy stickers. And putting free Tommy Robinson around and everything like that. Putting those stickers out. He said he really appreciates that, apparently. So, uh, that's really nice. Yeah, um, I, you get all this information. You can get a direct line in from Tommy's feed which is still running on um, Telegram, 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 Telegram. Yeah, um, I've, I've only got a few people. It's, it's, it's going to get better, Telegram. It's sort of like, it was a bit clunky to start with, but it seems to be sort of like, it's very focused because it's you, you actually follow the one person completely. You don't get a whole list of other things that are being posted. You, you just go to that one person and you get everything from that one person. Milo's on it as well. He's quite, he's quite active on it, but he posts so much you can't get through it. Okay. Yeah, the trouble with these things is um, if you post so much, you just spend your life actually watching this. I've been um, off of social media um, quite a lot recently because um, I have. But anyway, peace and love, people. Keep up the good work and let's keep, um, keep sending the positives and the love vibes to Tommy and Julian Assange. If I can get a hold of your thing, we'll send him a letter as well. All right, cheers.